this is something we have just uncovered recently. The batteries are being continuously discharged with all of the switches off and all of the circuit breakers pulled. So theoretically, all open circuits and yet there's hot wired something in these airplanes. The parasitic loads vary from as low as 13 milliamps to as high as 1.3 amps, which is a huge draw on a battery that is only capable of, of 25 or 40 amp hours. Consequently, the batteries are not self-discharging. They're actually being discharged with the loads in the aircraft. We are going to address this with a revision to our instructions for continued airworthiness and also with a bulletin on our website so that mechanics can actually measure this and we are going to make a very strong recommendation that the batteries be disconnected when the airplanes are in storage. You know, it's like anything else. If you have an airplane that flies often, this is incidental. If you fly it every day or five days a week or whatever, you can get by with this. But airplanes, particularly some of the light turbine-powered airplanes, are owned by people that are not professional pilots, and they don't necessarily get to those airplanes for a month or two, sometimes three, before they fly the airplane. And then they end up with a dead battery. So there's been various attempts on trying to keep these batteries alive with some sort of maintaining charger. And that has not been totally successful. And the reason why it isn't is because charging wears batteries out. So subjecting them to charge 24 hours a day and seven days a week is not as healthy as just disconnecting the battery and leaving it. It won't self-discharge. A sealed battery won't self-discharge 80% even in, in two months' time. But if it's connected to a load, that's not a self-discharge. It's actually performing some function electrochemically. So that's kind of where we're at today. We, uh, we've uncovered something in the last two weeks that we are going to address with airframe manufacturers and strongly suggest that these batteries be disconnected when the airplanes are out of service. And below 18 volts for a 24 volt battery, you run an extremely high risk of internal damage that is not recoverable. So batteries should not be run down to the point of, which does happen if you inadvertently leave the switch on mm -hmm. over a weekend or whatever, uh, you have about a 50-50 chance of recovering that battery. As far as the FAA is concerned, uh, batteries can be replaced and serviced by a owner operator as part of preventative maintenance. It does not require a licensed mechanic to do. The other thing that I would point out is that when you, if you have a battery that simply has cables hooked up to it, to disconnect the negative cable. Mm -hmm. If you always disconnect and reconnect the negative cable, if you happen to inadvertently turn, touch the wrench to ground, nothing happens. Gotcha. So you don't do any arc welding if you use the <laughs> negative cable. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com.